Hey everybody, today on Merry Merry Meeples we are playing the Castles of Burgundy Mobile Edition. Um, I am getting prepared for my solo play of this as this is presently my number one game of all time. I will be reevaluating those here soon so we'll see if this keeps its top spot. So we are going to do a local game. Um, just make sure all my settings are good. Yep, there's that. Okay, so then play. Local game, playing against the Burgundy Bot Easy. Settings, um, let's do standard. And play. All right, so if you don't know how Castles of Burgundy is played, where you been? Um, so let me highlight a couple things here for you. Let's fast forward. Yeah, 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 go, go, go. All right, so it is my turn. So a couple things that you will see. So these are my dice up here that I'm going to do stuff with. All right. What we do is you use those to do various actions that are depicted down here. So this action, uh, let me get rid of the rest of those. And all right. So this first action is take tiles from up here and bring them down to here. You will do that by taking them from there if you spend that number die. So I have a two and a five. So right now, this one and this one are available to me to take a hex from. All right, that's the first one. The second one is this here. You take them from down here and put them out onto your board. They need to be adjacent to a already placed area and then the number on the die has to match the number where you're putting it and the type needs to match where you're putting it so for example with my five here what's available to me right now is i can put a boat right there all right then all the various tiles do different things which i will just get into as i place them because they all kind of vary and it does, it's going to make more sense as i am playing the next option, which is this, is you can sell your goods from over here. You spend a die equal to the number in the corner. You then sell them. They are worth a amount of points determinant on players in a two-player game. So I believe they're two points each. I can't fully remember. And then you get one silver lien, which is tracked here. Silver liens are used in one way. You can spend two of them to buy one of these tiles over here down to your area all right the last option is taking two workers your workers are tracked there and what you do is you can use workers on your turn to adjust your dice plus one or minus one for each worker you spend so if i had one worker i could turn my two into a three all right uh, that is the basics of it i'm going to do my two and then they're going to do their two um pretty sure that's it anything else so this is the 3d version this is the 2d version i've been playing with the 3d as i've been playing it um all right so my first action i think is going to be i am going to take a mine like so um because you don't get many mines throughout the game you only get five that were both fighting over if you notice i have three mine spaces so you'd have to hope that one comes out there and you can buy it same thing with castles is we each have three spaces for those and technically only one comes out each turn uh, so you have one here if you get the the silver liens to pay for it so i want to grab that mine before they get it and then i have a two do i grab the castle that would be silly because i'd be blocking myself off i can get that knowledge one which is whenever I get my income from a mine, I would also get a worker. You know, that would be a good one to get early in the game and then get out of mine. So there we go. I have my two hexes. So now I will, I will confirm my turn and it will go to his turn. We'll watch his turn for this first one and then I'm just going to start skipping it because I don't care what he does. So you'll see he has a six and a four. So he's grabbed uh, that one tile and put it out there. He scored a point because he completed the little um, area. I believe this whole thing is called our duchy. He completed the little area. 
So based on size of area is dependent on how many points it scores. And then the other way it scores points is this table right here shows we're going to play over five rounds and there's five turns per round. In the first one, if you complete something, you get 10 points plus whatever it is. So that's why he has 11. Um, it sounds like a lot of rules, but once you actually play it and get into the flow of things, it's actually pretty smooth. Uh, six and two. Um, I don't like that at all. So we are going to, I think, use our first worker to put out this tile right there. So you'll see it shows the two and one worker. Sure. Put out that tile. And I just got to make sure I get my mine out to make that worthwhile. And then let's go ahead and grab, let's grab the cows. Yep. Um, animal score. So you're going to place the tile down. You count how many are animal on there and you score it. If you put out more animals of the same type in the same pasture, you're going to add up all previously placed ones as well. All right. Um, six and three. What is with all the sixes? Three. So if you double click on this, it'll show you player sells the goods type of their choice. And then you can just click on any of these and they tell you what they do. So as you can see, the yellow ones all do a lot of different things. And then you have the different types of buildings. You have the animals. It tells you how they score the mines, the boats, and the castles. Castles are cool. They let you do an immediate another action. We are going to grab this, though, because I like to sell goods. And then I believe I put myself into a hole, so I think my next one is I'm just going to take two workers to open up my possibilities next time. And that's it for me. Um, oh, yeah, so I, what you don't see here that they're doing is at the beginning of each round, a white die is rolled. That's the one thing I haven't figured out yet where they put the white die in this one when you roll it. Um, but that is they then take one of these goods that are here and place it up wherever they rolled. And then that tracks how many rounds are left or how many turns are left in this round. So basically you have 25 turns. All right. So I have a two and a two. I can put out my building tile now. Right or do I spend a worker so I can get ready for the cast? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend a worker to put that out there. Plus, that will fill that in. That will get me 11 points just like they did. But they're at 13 now because they did something else. Probably sold goods like I'm about to do. So we're going to sell those two goods. So, yeah, it is two points per good. And I got a silver lien, which technically means I can buy stuff over there now. But instead, we're just going to take this castle all right there's me fast forward yep they go and all right so the last one for this one until we reset everything so all the tiles up top will get reset and so forth um ooh, so i can put out my castle i need to get out my mind so yeah we're going to do the castle so when you do the castle, you can, like, as I said, do another action of your choice. You can take anything from up top. You can put anything out. It The sky is your limit. So we are actually going to place out that mine because at the end of every round, a mine gives you a silver lane and in my instance, also a worker. And let's grab the boat so we're ready for next turn. All right. And go. So what the boat does is the boat will move your marker here, which sets turn order. And that also allows you to take the goods from up here and add them down to here for you to be able to sell later on. But I told you to fast forward. I don't care about your duchy. Probably should, but I never do. All right. So now we are... Oh, see, they got ahead of me because they used a boat. But that's fine because I am also about to use my boat boat or do i want to use a worker so i can take that mine you know what let's instead take this mine first so that way they can't get that on me stop them from getting the mine and then put out the boat get on the boat 
the burgundy boat. So now you'll see my marker over there on the side move. So I'm on top. So I'm going to go first. And now I get to take goods. So I currently have a four in my thing. We'll just take this so I have options with my goods. Um, do I want to buy something really quick? So this one is when I add this to my estate, I can adjust any die result being used to take new tiles from the game board by plus one, minus one. So basically it opens it up where I don't necessarily need workers. This one is I can add an additional. You know, we're going to buy that one. I'll buy that for two silver lanes, which I just did. That way he doesn't get it. I can get that put up next time and open up my options. Fast forward. All right. So I have a six and a three. Um, well, that's not good because I can't put out that. I can't put out that. So I will need to use a worker to put out this knowledge tile. Um, so now I have options of what I want to take. Let's grab, I can't remember. Can I do the sixes wrap? The sixes do wrap. That's workers or silverlings. Uh, grab the boat like so. So I went confirm my turn. He's going. Let's fast forward him. And my turn. So I got a four and a two. So I can put out another boat. Put out another boat. And I can take more tiles. Although it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to take anything. Because none of them. I can't take any because I don't have the ones, fours, or threes. And I only have the option of holding three. But that does push me up on the turn. So now I can have a two still. Can I get out the mine? You know what? Let's put out the cows in that spot. Get some more points. Plus, that frees it up so I can have some room to put other hexes when I need to. All right, so go. Fast forward. Don't take my castle, dude. All right, he didn't. Am I able to take my... I am able to take the castle. And do I have room for that? I should be able to. All right, so here's going to be a fun turn. So we're going to... Oh, I don't have the silver thing to buy what I wanted, though. All right, we'll push back my fun turn for one turn and hope I can do it next time. All right, yep, that's it. Get me some hexes, get going. All right, so here we go, a five and a four. That does work for me. So we're going to take my castle, put that out. Done. Castle lets me do a free turn. My free turn is going to be to put out this guy. Uh, do I have one already started? Nope, let's go ahead and open up somewhere. You know, nope, we're just gonna go there. Put that out, that's gonna let me put out another hex of my choice. So I can now put out my mine. So see with one die, I was able to put out three. That is one of the cool things I do really like about this game. And now I still have a four. So let me take the boat. And that was that. Alrighty, done. Um, one other thing we're kind of fighting over in this game is you see these ribbons. It's whoever's the first to fill them all up. So if I can get all of the mines, I'll get that ribbon. And those are points as well. There's points upon points upon points. So we restart the turn, the round. I have three silverlings. There's stuff there that I can buy. So what are these? So this gives you three points for each goods type that you sold. This one I believe is one for every sold one. So right now I've only sold fives. I don't know if I'm going to get a bunch more sold. So we're going to hold off on that. Um, do I want to grab that last mine? Might not be a bad idea. And then that, that's the silverling one, isn't it? Yeah, so let's go ahead and grab stuff. We'll grab that, and then we're gonna grab the mine. And then hope I can put stuff out next turn. Which I should be able to, I have two workers. So I should be able to at least get something out. I mean, I can do, I need one, the four, or three. Fast forward your turn. As long as he doesn't jump me yet, we're good. 
So a one and a three, see? So I can put out my boat. Um, yeah, I have a one and a, yeah. So I can take goods, so might as well do it. Um, what ones do I want to take? I think I'm going to take the fours. Uh, there it is. Go here. Show that I'm taking the four good. Done. I still have a three. And let's go ahead and put that out up there, which gives me two more silverlings so I can buy stuff if I want to. I might buy them piggies. Yeah, let's buy them piggies. Because there's pigs up on three, so I can maybe start a little whole little pig farm thing, help me dispose of some bodies. I mean, no. Plus, look, he was going for pigs. I didn't even realize that. So that's why you should pay attention to your other players for board. All right, so I know he might want to take those pigs. Um, we're at, wait, we're going to wait on the pigs. Because we are going to come up here and take the castle. And then we are going to put out the castle. Like so, with one worker. And you'll see down here, the little ribbon's going to pop up here in a moment. Pop up ribbon. Nope, did that. That gave me six points. Plus the six there. And first place in the ribbon gives you more points. And then I can do whatever I want. And I am going to take the other pig. All right. What are they going to do on their turn? Whatever. They are probably going to annoy me. That's what they're going to do. So I have a five and a two. Can I put out anything? I can use a worker to get out my last mine. That will free up some room there. Um, then do I grab the last boat? Or do I grab that building tile that lets me do a building? Because um, I don't really want that knowledge tile. That knowledge tile is when I put out a... Castle, mine, or knowledge tile. I can treat it as plus one, minus one. While all my mines are out, all my castles are out. So I do have this pig. I have no workers presently. I have no goods to sell. So this one lets me take a building of your choice. Buildings are the tannish looking tiles. Yeah, let's do that. Because another thing I should mention is in each set of these, you can never have the same building. They all have to be different. All right, then let's just hope I can put out my pigs. Can I put out my pigs? A three and a six. No and no, but I can put out a building. Because see right there, I don't have the workers, so we are going to have to go down here with it. And I think the building I'm going to grab. Um, so this one is I can take an animal or ship. And this one is the four workers. Let's take that one. Workers are pretty good, as you've seen in the game. Pretty helpful to have. As I am out of options to do... Wait, nope, I can put out this new building right there. Done. And that gives me four workers, so I am set up, and then I'm about to mine, so I'm about to get three more workers, so I'm going to be flush with the workers. Oh, he took over first player. You jerk. All right, yes, yes, go do your thing. Yada, yada, yada. All right. My turn. So I have a three, a four. I have pigs. I can buy stuff. Um, so I already have that one in there. I don't have that building one in there. Um, uh, so many choices. Or do I take a boat and get a boat out? Mm. Let's go ahead... And I want, I need a different building for that section up there to finish it. So let's go ahead and grab that one. So we'll put this building out there, which is going to be able to let me grab a building for free. And we're going to grab, so he already did his turn. We're going to grab this one, which if you remember right, lets me put something out as a bonus action, I have a three now, so we'll put that out there, and that's going to let me put out my piggies. Uh, we're going to put my piggies on the four. I probably should put out the four pigs, but it doesn't really matter either way. 
Well, technically, it might cost me a point at the end. If I lose by a point, we know I'm, it's because of my pig incident. Um, I do need to get out some boats so I can start choosing first again. Hey, look at that. I'm just going to grab two boats. That way he can't get any more boats on this one. And I can steam ahead of him. Come on, let me grab my other boat. There we go. I wish the animations were a little quicker. Just so I can just get in the flow and go. But it is what it is, unfortunately. But it's still a good implementation, I think. It's pretty quick going. Alright, so we can put out one of my boats. There we go. I have a one, a four, and a three. So I guess I'll be taking that three. No, we're going to take the four. Because you want to try and get as many goods as one. That way when you do the selling, you can sell a bunch of stuff at once. I can put out my other pigs, or is there a tile I want to take? Um, I got to putting out your own a tile of your choice. That can go there. Um, what else? That's about it. Because that one is the four workers. I'm pretty good with workers for now. Is that the, And that's the silverling one in there? So I could get that. You know, yeah. So I, well, I guess I did take it. Forgot the check mark does that. That's fine. We're going to go here and put you out. Which is going to give me the two silverlings back that I just spent on putting that out. All right. So I just need one more building there because that's my big score. Um, do I have a building I don't have there yet? I do in the one spot. I don't have this building there yet. So let's go ahead and take it. And I can't, I'm not going to put it out quite yet. I am going to use one of my workers to put out my next boat. Um, I need one, three, or four. There is a three. We'll take it right there. Should probably start selling those goods. Holy cow, I surprised. he's whooping me by like 32 points. It's all right, I got plans. How does he have so many points? That's crazy. Crazy talk, I tell you. Um, all right, so I can't put that out yet. No, let's put out my pigs. Free up a spot here. That gives me the three. I can grab that building I don't have yet in that little area. Yeah, let's try and push to get all the buildings in this one. I don't know if I've ever had a game where I've actually gotten all the buildings. So we have five turns left. Let's optimize those as best we can. So I doubt he's going to get up to me with the boats. All right, so final five. It's the final five now. Do, 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 do. Put that out right there. That's going to let me put out something else. So I'm going to put out the one that lets me sell goods right there. And we're going to sell the four. Come on. Sell those. That's going to give me some points. And then I have a three. Is there anything I want to buy? I don't really care about the cows. I don't see any pigs. Let's see what these all do. So that's four victory points. That's four workers. And that's sell a good. Uh, let's buy that one. I have enough silverlings. Why not, right? Um, then let's go ahead and grab our last boat while we can. So if we can complete the boats and if we complete the buildings, that would be ideal. Um... How do I have so much stuff full filled and he's like kicking my butt? He must have done skullduggery, tomfoolery, madness. Um, so I already have one of those there. So I need something different to go there. Um, I know that one I don't have there. Is that the four workers? Uh, I don't know if that's what I want though. So plenty of workers. So let's get that in place. Uh, that way I can figure out what my last building tile is going to be. Um, knowledge is nah. 
I can put out the boat to get that six goods. That'd take two workers. I got plenty of workers. Plus, I need to catch up to him. He's scaring me how far he is ahead of me. There we go. Go, go, go. Go, go. Yep, all these points. Get me stuff. 134 to 158. And let's take, where's the six? There we go, because there's going to be three of them. Um, so yeah, so the big thing I want to do is I need to get a building for that last part there and sell some goods. Um, so what building do I need? I can use, I cannot use the one in the four spot. I cannot use the one in the three spot. I gotta go to the one spot. Or do I not, or do I just buy it? So I have access to other things that I can do. Um, I have the silver lanes. Let's just buy it. Done. So what do I want to do with my other silver lanes? So let's take this one because I am planning to do some more selling. That gives you more stuff when you sell. You get two silver lanes instead of one and silver lanes are end of game points. So we'll get that out there. Two rounds left. And I just have a few things I know for sure I want to do, and I should have enough stuff to do it. All right, so six, I can sell my goods. Where do I put out my build? Let's put out my building for sure. That way I can get all those points. I mean, he's not even close to that, so. Here we go. This should help me catch up to him. So that's 147. Does he have end of game point scoring? I don't think he does. Probably should keep an out. Oh, we can look at his board. Um, oh, he does have some end of game points, so he might get me. We might, uh, I might lose one. I've tied and I've won. I've never lost. This may be the first time. Um, well, let's sell goods then. All right. And I just need to make sure I get a six on the last turn to sell those last three for sure. I think it's also the first time I haven't had end of game scoring tiles. I usually get at least a couple of those. So I got a five. That's close enough to six to sell those. To bring me up to there. And I think I might just buy those cows. Just to get them out. Because that is going to be at least three points. To go right there. And that's about all I can do. So that will bring me up to what? 160. His 166 going into final scoring, and he scores that, that, do our whole thing, and I won by three points. Woo! All righty. So that was Castles of Burgundy. As you saw, quite a lot going on. It's a really good app. I prefer it in person when you can actually be rolling the dice and the tactile feel, but this is good just when I want to relax in bed and play a version of it. So again, 175 to 172. Your hero won and accomplished. Now, if I could go ahead and get you to please subscribe, like, comment, ring the bell, share, do all that fun stuff, I would like you to.